God good. You can be seated. I would like for Clara and Daniel, if they would bring their children to the front. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Is the Lord good to all of us? Hallelujah. I'll take the baby. Okay, zoom in on me. Okay, zoom in. Come on, bring, bring me close. Y'all can all be dismissed now. This is going to be one tall dude. Good grief. Now, don't, get, don't forget to get me in the picture. Now, what's his name? Leo Nardo. Y'all going to call him Leo? Baby Leo. How tall are you? I gotta stand on the ladder to pray for him. Good grief! And what's these two's name? Chevron, Esteban. Okay, Daniel, I want you to hold the baby. Okay. He's already six foot tall. First of all, I want to say congratulations, Clara. I'm. I knew you when you was a teenager. I could tell you some stuff. Amen. And now y'all have three children. Everybody in this congregation knows what I'm fixing to preach. But I'm going to preach it again, okay? Do y'all want your children to go to heaven? I don't think either one of y'all want the drug dealers to have your children. You don't want the streets to have your children. Let me tell you something. Our children are so vulnerable that they are totally dependent upon mother and father for their eternal destiny. We all are going to stand before God and give an account. And I think parents need to be aware that we are going to give an account of the way we raise our children. You know, the drug addicts on the street, the dope pushers, the pimps, and those kind of people, they didn't just become drug addicts and dope addicts. But somewhere, mom and dad did not put proper authority in their life. When we dedicate these children, this is a serious business. Because you're saying, I want my children to make it to heaven. But God's going to hold us accountable as to whether or not they get there. Three things your children need. Now listen to me carefully. Mama, you're going to pray. I promise. You might be just, oh, God. But our, our children must hear Father pray. If they never hear Father pray, you can almost forget about your children making it to heaven. They can't, they can't just know you pray. They need to hear you open your mouth and pray. Secondly, your children need a good church. Now, y'all live down in Oklahoma, right? I pointed y'all to a good church down there. In fact, I called the pastor and told him to start expecting y'all to come. Either your children are going to be raised in church or you're going to let the street raise them. 
And if you don't believe the street will destroy your children, try it. You need a good church. Find you a good church. Stick with it. And number three, they need a pastor. Remember how mean I used to be, Clara? Let me remind you. A preacher's not mean because he preaches the truth. A preacher's not mean because he establishes authority in your children's life. Now, you think you can raise children by yourself, but that's an impossibility. Because when they go to school, they're going to be at school eight hours a day. And you don't know what kind of teacher they're going to be. But you better have someone else in your life that has authority in your life to become an authority in your children's life. And that's a godly pastor. Believe me, before these kids could be teenagers. And you can't wait. I had a family come to me the other day, and they wanted me to straighten their child out but she was 17. And they had never been to church in their life, but they wanted the pastor to straighten her out in a 30-minute counseling session. And because I couldn't do it, I wasn't much of a pastor. But I got used to them. They weren't much of parents to keep their kids out of church when they were 17 years old. Let a man of God establish an authority in your children. do that together you can bring up wonderful children. Would you stand with me please? I'm asking our pastors if they would come. Alright. Almighty God we anoint these children we dedicate them to the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord God, that you'd keep your hand upon this family. Lord God, you give them the moral courage to train up their children in the way they should go. And we dedicate them tonight to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord, for these children. Keep your hand upon them. And, oh God, let O oh Lord, the Spirit of the Lord be upon their lives in the name of Jesus. I pray for Clara and I pray for Daniel that you would be with them, strengthen them, and oh God, give them the courage that they need in the name of Jesus Christ. And everybody said amen. Amen. I have, I want to give to your children their first Bible. And I want to give them a certificate of dedication. God bless y'all. Daniel, congratulations, sir. God bless y'all. Y'all can return to your seat. I'll, uh, everybody said amen. Amen.